Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Good morning and welcome to the first morning live. Yep. We're live. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm live. I'm a, I'm Me too, I believe you. so. I believe, I believe I am. These early hours are going to catch up with us. You know that, don't <laughs> yes. you? Yes. About middle of next week, we're going to be dragging, and I know it, but I expect it. This celebration will keep me hyped up, though. You get hyped yeah. up. Hyped up. <laughs> well, go ahead and do your gig, and then we'll get started on talking about some good horses. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Jacobs family asks for your support as Allie Dove Jacobs competes in the 85th National Celebration starting with Grayton Beach in Class 46, the Youth 11 and Under Mare Division, followed by Coach Cal competing in Class 51, You Show Pleasure, and then directing Cole Hahn in the 11 and Under Building Division. Allie Jo and her family humbly ask for your continued support as she presents her horse for championship honors. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All right, welcome back. Yep. I do want to tell everybody that uh, the BFW was not supposed to be open last night. They're never open the first Wednesday because normally it's inside, not yes. outside. That was the reason they, I'm assuming that they wasn't open. But I know, like you said, it was they had a lot of people that, were, that I believe this comes so they eat at VFW last night. Well, I, I looked down there several times, but I'm going to tell you, I ate a sausage and toast there yesterday, and it, it's one of the best sausage and toast. I ate it just like you would a biscuit, and it was outstanding. And oh, everybody needs to realize, VFW, the Veterans of Foreign War, 
It was chartered in 1945. And people, support your veterans. Support yeah. these charity booths. No matter, I mean, everybody, everybody can say what they want, but the fact is, you get some good food there. Oh, yeah, that was one of the biggest talks last night with the VFW building. Everybody couldn't wait to eat. eat. Where's my pinto beans? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't open. That's right. <laughs> they should have took a poll out there about, about this. I'll tell you what, I saw some. We're going to show a little filly, though, because you got one of your customers wanting to sell this filly. Yes. And it, that, this right here is pads were on that filly three days three when days. we took this yep. video. Now, I'm going to wait after celebration. We're going to get some more video of this, Philly, because I'm going to tell you, she's going to make someone a good one. Yes. No matter what. She, she's going on the right direction. What were some of the good horses you saw, saw last night? I tell you, they had some real good classes last night. I thought I'm they good. did, too, some tough classes. I, I got in those flat shots that the second class, I am. That's a good horse. Yeah, Chad Spencer is. rode uh -huh. him. Real good horse, and I apologize to Chad, because we, we skipped it today, but he's going to be on here tomorrow. Yeah, he's a good work. Skip the line. Now, Kimberly, mm -hmm. they were dead on the money. Oh, but yeah. I mean, they were getting they had, it done. They had some good ones in you had, last night. But I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give the star of the day to Bobby Jones and chewing tobacco, chewing tobacco. <laughs> Do you see that? Yes. Chew tobacco, chew tobacco. I don't know how he, I meant to ask him, I don't know how he came up with that name. Because he, he don't chew. No, uh-uh, no. He, he must have, he must have <laughs> saw someone chewing so well. That might I be believe so. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it that way. But we got good classes coming tonight. Oh, we got some real good classes. I'm gonna tell you this, that was about the best First night, Wednesday night, I hadn't seen a long time like that. You know, I like the way they done it. Well, I did too. I yes. mean, it it's, it makes it more exciting. And and I'll tell you, I know it was it was hot out there, but it would have been a whole lot hotter in Cooper Steel Arena yeah. than it was outside. But it just there's something about the big arena. I tell you, that crowd was big out there last night. For it be a lot night. of people. Was a lot, lot of people out was there. out there. Yeah. So it. To me, to kick off the celebration that way, and yesterday morning there was some tough clashes. Yes. So, and it was hot. Lord. They, I, I told them in, in Tweeba that they could have gone in there and sold air conditioner for five dollars a minute. Yeah, that's a, you're uh, right. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> Speaking of Tweeba, I want to show somebody something. If you go to Tweeba and you buy something. You get a big old bag like this. Now, this is a nice bag. Oh, that you is a nice bag. You tote a lot of stuff. But here, here is the deal. And this is what I like. If y'all can't read this, this says horse people are my people. And that's the way I that's feel. That's right. Mm -hmm. Every place I go, I want them to see that. That is one neat T-shirt, buddy. That is buddy. a T-shirt. Mark, you need to get one of these and wear it out there in the center ring. Put the judges in them. That, that's pretty cool. I had to get me one of them yeah. when I saw them. I said, nah, I'm going to have that. Be I like the tweet of being over at Celebration Grounds and stuff like that. You can get a lot of horses entered and registered and everything else, you know, right there. Yeah, you can you can sell a horse and go change the papers right there. Yeah. So it makes it pretty easy. They're, they're, they're staying They're very nice them. in that building, help you out any kind of way that they can. Mm -hmm. They got all kinds of stuff. So yeah. everybody stop by the Tweeba building. Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders and Exhibitors. They got a nice young lady in there that'll help you, show you what you need. Very nice. I want everybody to pray for Joe Fleming, too. He, he failed and hurt his hip. He told me, he said, I don't know if I'm going to make it over there or not. And Roger Richards. Roger? He got sick last night in the, in the warm-up area. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they had to carry well, him out of there. Well, that, I mean, this heat, yes, heat make a lot rough. of people. I mean, it will. It'll affect a lot of people. Rough on people and these horses. Well, we need to we need to watch our horses, take care of them. Need to watch the people and take care of them. That's right. I know. Uh, I was over there on my golf cart and I seen these two ladies fixing to go down to the barn and I just turned around and I said, "Can I give y'all a ride?" So I've only got a two seater <laughs> for two people, but I grant you, we we got in there. Yeah. <laughs> Half of me was hanging out, yeah. but we got in there and that lady said, "We'll make it down the hill." That's I knew you had a big heart. Hey. I try to be. I, I, I try, you I try to be it. nice to everybody. Yeah. I mean, I try to. You try to. I understand. I mean, sometimes I have to 
kind of skip over <laughs> it. But all in all, I try to I try to do what is best for everybody. Yeah. Now, and today we're going to be showing some good horses, starting with Winglands. Yesterday morning they started off with a good one. I had Roxanne out on the the rock pile, but he, here's a good one. Everybody knows when you bring a horse on the bricks, what's going to happen. I mean, it's going a good portion of them are going to decide it's time to relieve their self. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, there was had one out there that did just that. So we was trying to, Caitlin Rippey was getting us a, a range for getting a bucket and a scoop out yeah. there. And uh, this young man come up through there, he set that scoop and that bucket down, <laughs> he started to walk off. <laughs> Linda Shredner says, uh, what about that? That boy looked at her and said, I was told just bring that scoot and that bucket <laughs> up here. She said, you're not going to get that up? <laughs> he looked at her and he said, get that up. <laughs> she said, yeah, get that up. So he was nice enough. He went ahead yeah, and got, got it, it up. Uh -huh. But I told him, I said, evidently he'd never seen anything. Yeah, no. <laughs> but they, they got a lot of people hired. Yeah, you know. and I knew people. Uh, and there he is. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's all over the showgrounds. But all in all, the celebration kicked off great inspections went great we're going to see how they go from here but from what i'm gathering everybody seems to be happy yeah everybody they really like do. a good attitude and everything going on i didn't hear any complaining about the the judges uh so far so, yeah so i can't say that i agreed with all of them because there's a couple horses out there i i really like that uh didn't do as well as i thought they should but all in all, we, we've had some good talent. Yeah, we had some good talent. So i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go to Wednesday morning and see where we start. So let's go ahead and throw some video up there. This is Owner Amateur English Country Pleasure. This is Jordan, the best you're, of the best. Jordan, you're a good guy, but I'm gonna tell you, El Elsie looks a whole lot better on Gigi's Majestic. <laughs> I hate to tell you that, but Gigi's Majestic and Jordan Howe took the blue for William Bradford. Stapleton and Maggie Moore was reserved for Leakin Moore. There's, there she is right there. Legend of Zelda, B.J. Campbell Frank was third. Bella Bell. Cheryl Ward and Miami Ritz, Jenny Trainer finished out the ribbons. I'll tell you what, they started off good and, oh, yeah. and this is a good class. It used to be the first class was always won by one certain guy. Can you you know who it was? No, you tell me about it. Well, he was a celebration judge. Uh Tommy Howe. All right, but this year, Laurie Toon took that honor. Okay. <laughs> I told her, I said, I was watching them out there, and I, I said, she had that horse parked out good. So, Laurie's a good trainer. Laurie is a good trainer. Hey, this is a great class right here. It's a tough class. Jordan did a good job, no doubt about it. I admired the people that was in there with jackets on. Boy, I couldn't have done it. No. Yeah. I know. It was hot in there, buddy. There's Jordan. Maggie sets a good seat. Yes. It's kind of like, hey, this is it. Nice class of horses right there. Hey, it is. Well, you get celebration time. Oh, yeah. And I, I want to thank the people that uh, promote their horses because video don't lie, buddy. You can manipulate a picture, but what you're seeing here is authentic. What you see is what you get. Right this there. is it. Now, 
And I'm going to tell you, those judges, now it ain't easy yeah. because you got to, if you don't know what you're doing, you hear people say, I don't see no difference in them. <laughs> but there are. They're all. And I tell you, inside that middle of that ring is a yeah. lot different than it is. it is when you sit in them stands on judging wise. It is. A lot of people don't realize that, Jerry, yeah. but it, you have good times and bad times. I will say one thing, though. Them judges can wear them jackets and burn up, but if you know the, the center ring guys out there, yeah, they're in shirt sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't pushing the button. And Bonner, it is pretty slick, though. He wore a white coat. Woody Woodruff used to show a horse in, in the country boy shows. The judge told him one time, said, Woody, you'd win every one of you. Class that horse and back up. Woody said, never taught him to. <laughs> Here he is, owner amateur English country pleasure winner, Gigi's Majestic and Jordan Howe for William Bradford. There he is. Amateur all day pleasure. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, this class was loaded. Yeah. I mean, good ones from start to finish. I be smoking and Joel Johnson took the blue for Tanner and Tucker Johnson. She's never been kissed. Kimberly Walden was reserved. Miss Bell Starr with Brittany Baum. Pedal Pushing Jazz, Laura Hamilton. John Wick, Renee Stanwich. Miss Wicked Felina, Kathy Anderson, NV, Cindy Long, Gigi's Bell Star, Robin Parsons, Pellegro De Niro, Julie Carson, and Fragile Rock. Caitlin Byron finished out the ribbons, but when you look in there, I be smoking. She's never been kissed. Oh, there's hey, two good ones right hey, there. You got two of the best right there. That's right. You got pedal pushing jazz with Laura Hamilton in there too. So people can't say this class wasn't stacked. That's right. She's never been kissed in Kimberly. That, that, that's just a good team right there. That is a good team. Start to finish, that's a good team. But I be smoking. I don't think that horse has ever been beat over once, maybe twice. Uh-huh. But he is just, uh, he's just outstanding. It makes no difference which one of them boys are. The daddy is riding. Yeah. He is good. I could ride that horse and win. Yeah. Now, I mean, he's he's just that good. I like this class right here. Oh, I do too. I like it. It really says a lot for the horse. Yes. Because like that real slow, just that, that right there is a trail walk. That's what everybody loves, just that smooth ride through the hills. Then they speed up a little. I like any good horse. I don't care what division he is. If he's good at his job, you know, I like it. I don't care the performance. 
park performance, um, flat shot, heavy shot, or whatever. It makes no know? difference. It makes no difference. It does, These good. I seen a horse last night in uh, park performance that uh, he was it was reserved, and and I thought the horse was outstanding. Yeah. Head held high, flat walking. I mean, getting it done. Good horse. And you know in this class right here, if you watch these horses, you can see the best one that's in there, some of the oh, top yeah. ones in there, the way that they walk and shake and everything else. Well, you look the front to the back, the head yeah. shake. I, look at the rider. Look how they're setting the saddle. Yeah. See which one of them are setting up there just riding it. And then you got some that, that you know, they, they try to over-exaggerate yes. some. But you're real good riders. They're up there, they're ready. You're Steady. right. Everybody has a different way of showing. Uh -huh. Me, I like to show by sitting there watching them. Yeah. <laughs> now, I will take that back. I got a compliment on the performance that we did at the Sizzler. They told me they thought I sat in the saddle pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I told him, I said, that's because Jerry was leading him right. <laughs> that's a ring full of good horses right there. It is. Super good horses. Yeah. Some good classes, buddy. You know, a lot of people, when when they back up, they ask, I've had been asked, said, well, do they get gig for that? I said, if they drag that foot, foot they're supposed to. Yeah. They're supposed to pick that foot up when they back up, not drag it. And you'll be surprised if you watch real close how many of them will drag it. See how he picks that foot up and backs up? That's the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah. Just like that, doing it just right. That's why you you got them in the world championship. Yeah. Because they're doing it right. You don't find many in this class that will drag that foot. Tickled to death. Every oh, yeah. one of them picked that foot up. <laughs> there he is. I be smoking Joe and Joel Johnson for Tanner and Tucker Johnson. Them two boys must have taught him how to ride that horse. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> Susie's proud of all them boys. Well, you know, the mom and dad was a good horsemen. Yes, they were. Yeah. I've watched both of them show. And I imagine that Susie had a lot to do with teaching them boys to yeah. ride. Good job, buddy. He, now, he, he rode him well. Oh, he rode him real well. All right, you're up. We'll be right back after these messages. It's celebration time, and Allie Jo Jacobs is geared up and ready to ride, starting by showing her riding skills on Ain't He Grand in class 78, E11, and under equitation class. Then she will cowgirl up and show first night out in class 86, the Youth Country Pleasure. Followed by Switchblade in class 94, the 6 to 14 year old Youth Pony Division. 
Allie Jo is ready to ride and asks for your support as she goes for top honors during the 85th celebration. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. It's horse show time in Tennessee, and the two-year-old contenders are lining up to campaign for top honors during the 85th Walking Horse Celebration. Sadie Parsons asked you to support Straight Republican as your next two-year-old world and world grand champion amateur two-year-old walking horse. Remember, Straight Republican for a clean sweep in the amateur two-year-old division during the 2023 National Walking Horse Celebration. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. You know, I'm going to enjoy this next clip because uh, we promoted Ronnie Spears when he one in Pedal. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the first time he had been in a blue in a long time. Yeah. He's retired. But there's one thing that he does every year during celebration, because I, I like to watch Ronnie ride. Oh, yes. He is a, his, he his is. equitation skills and riding skills are great. Pam Hawksmith used to tell him, he screamed, get them hands up. But you watch him, he's always got them hands up. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and start on our evening video. Because there was some good classes oh, yes, last was night, some buddy. Classes, some some real classes. good. And they started off with Ronnie Spears in the saddle. With he can teach a lot of a lot of people a lot of things. He's been there. <laughs> he's been that. there. He's done that. That's right. But he he is. Uh, I don't, I don't know. You you can talk about it all you want to, but he was the last trainer to ever wear boots out of the celebration ground. Mm -hmm. Another masterpiece. That's why I say he'd been there and done that. That was it. He did it, and that was his way of saying howdy I guess. Yeah. But let's go ahead and start our video. It's 7 o'clock and it's horse show time here in Shelbyville. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to our 2023 opening night of the celebration. And our top honor tradition, we invite you to stand and direct your attention to our entry gate for the presentation of our nation's color. Our black horse is White Diamond Dollar, ridden by Ronnie Spears and owned by the OK Walking Horse Farm and Curtis McCoy. White Diamond Dollar, prepared for the celebration exhibition by People Saving. Uh, so many great traditions here at the celebration. 
Traditions of beautiful, talented animals. Tradition of great riders and intense competition. A tradition of rich, the old and new. As the name implies, it's truly a celebration of our breed and one of the greatest traditions is the presentation of our sellers each night aboard a solid white Tennessee walking horse. For 85 years, the celebration has begun each performance with the presentation of our colors. And for 85 years, you, our fans, have given the stars and stripes a proper reverence. We appreciate you continuing that tradition with us here tonight. And again, our thanks to White Diamond Dollar and Ronnie Spear here for presenting the flag. The Tommy Grider family of Columbia, Kentucky is the proud sponsor of our opening ceremony. Here's the celebration Even one-handed, he had them hands up. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to kick it off with wingling class. And this is the one I got to ask. I got to ask Bobby about this. Chewtabacca, Chewtabacca, and Chris Richards took the blue for Bobby Joe Jones. A road trip, Amanda Wright was reserved. Della Cruz, Robert Nims. Almighty Good Man, Leanne Tibbs. Shake Up a Good Time, Beverly Carter. He's John the Baptist, Dron Dotson. Hell of an Honor, Brittany Hoagland. Holy, Nathan Mills. The Smooth Criminal, Chris Hazelwood. And Creekside Charlie, CC'd. John Doris finished out the ribbons. But this chew tobacco, chew tobacco, I gotta figure out where he came up with yeah. that. <laughs> this is a class of a bunch of good coats right here. Yeah, bunch of good coats. Chris is leading one there. Yeah. I tell you what, you talking about the hot, the heat. Now, them the ones that I'm uh -huh. right here. <clears throat> one with that jacket and walking me. that ring out there. Hey, I'd have to think about it. Some serious thinking. Yes. There's that green coat. I watched his boy show. You, you can tell his son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> by the walk. By the walk, yeah. Because I didn't know that was his son, but I said, I'll bet money <laughs> that that's Nathan Hills' boy right there. And it was. He walked just like him. But he used to wear green pants. Yes. Mm hmm. You know, he's the youngest person to ever win a world grand championship in, in that lead line. Yeah, I remember him way back when, when he used to yeah. show all the time. Yeah. His granddaddy was, was yeah. real big in them horses. Oh, Lord. His, his uh, grandmother called me one time and said, I need you to come over here and fix this live stream up to where he can watch it from the house because they rented a house right across from the celebration. But he was just, he, he wasn't in good health at the yeah. time. So I went over and set it up for him. It is so amazing to me, you know, Nathan and his son doing it, and his granddad doing it, and mm -hmm. so many different generations that's pulling with these coats right here. Well, hey, look at the Dotson. They're like the Dotson. Witherspoon. Right? Yeah. And they just keep it going. Jesse, his his daddy, his his family, and stuff like that, his sons, and stuff like that, and pulling with these coats and stuff. I mean, it's.
that's the thing with these people on the outside, this horse industry don't realize how dedicated and how much this go back to a lot of people. Well, they don't realize the work that goes into it. Um, and it, I mean, it starts here. But when you, when you get down to it, Jerry, every trainer, it's just like I can remember talking to Joe Fleming one time and Justin was riding his horses at night because of the heat during yes. the daytime. Uh -huh. And people don't realize that this is, this is not something that you just snap your fingers and everything falls into place. It takes time, it takes energy, and a whole lot of work. And these trainers, they don't get the credit they deserve. And I'm, I'm including you with that. I did compliment you. Oh, Always okay. remember that, <laughs> I, I complimented you. But when you, when you look at trainers and how hard they work and, and what they've got to endure when they go to uh, horse shows, <clears throat> they got the most stringent and tough inspections in any equine industry. There's yes. none other that has to go through what the walking horse trainers go through. You know, when you train these horses, a lot of times you, you go to bed with these horses on your mind and wake up in the middle of the night thinking, about these horses. Yep, I know, I, mean, it's I know. A, it's a lot different than most people think it is. Well, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know right now, you've got in mind, you're not using any action advice during training. You're doing it with bungee cords. And that rolls through my mind all the time. Is this going to work? Is this yeah. going to work? Because you want to keep them good and clean. It's hot outside. The heat is tough on the horses. Yes. And it's it just, to me, it, it you take a gamble no matter what. You're exactly and, right on that. And you, you try to, but you want your horses real clean and slick when you take them in there, so you take a chance. And if he's not up to puff snuff, then uh, he's not up to snuff. Here he is, Chewtabacca, Chewtabacca, and Chris Richards for Bobby Joe Jones. Spring wingling coats. Tell you what, what more can you say? That's a nice coat right there. You know, we should have got Juneteenth out and snuck her in there. Or we do her in the Phillies, though. Chew tobacco, chew tobacco. A lot of people up there spitting yeah. and saying, I like that horse. <laughs> <laughs> they should have told Chris, have him big chaw while he was doing it. Here's your amateur two and three year old all day pleasure. And I'm here to tell you now, this is one that Kimberly Walden has, has nailed all year long. Skipped the line and Kimberly Walden took the blue. The Queen Supreme and Dr. Brittany Baum was reserved. Cali Caliente, Andy Stockberry, Silver Dragon, Miles Irby. She's nothing but net, Mark Clark. She's unbuckled, unbelievable. Maggie Moore, you come up with some names. <laughs> She's unbuck believable. I like that. Buck believable. All righty. Sonora Sophie, Abby Warren, Carlisle, Jared Carrier. She's walking on fire. Maddie Grace McMurra. And I am, I said, Trittany Leon. Leon finished out the ribbons, but it was skipped the line. We've advertised that horse quite a bit. Yes but he, he has won quite a bit. Good, represents the walking horse industry very well. This is another class. Yeah, this is another nice <coughs> good class right here. I tell you what, people will say, well, during the flat shot, I go to concession stand. Look at all the people that are sitting there watching them That's now. Right. That, that used to be true. But that ain't true anymore. Well, the, the people wouldn't, I think back then, 
they mind wasn't open like it is now. More people is mind open now because I'm telling you, this flat shot class, I mean, it's. Well, they realize, they realize what it is on this class. They realize what it takes to do it. Plus, when you get to watching them, hey, they got a good gait. And I tell you, these horses right here, a lot of them caught just as much as a good performance horse do. Yes, they and do. And more. They, they pay more for them. Well, I've they're selling them. a lot of flat shot right now. Uh, they're potential flat shots. A lot of your coats are being sold to flat shot trainers <laughs> yes. and flat shot owners. And a lot, I'm going to tell you something that's helped a lot is the uh, these auctions that they're having now. Yeah. They're finding out just how valuable these Tennessee walking horses are. <coughs> I take my hat off to these flat shot trainers now. I tell you. They, I do too. I mean, they are some horse training some guns. Well, it takes them a while. I mean, they, they, there's a lot they have to do. A lot of these horses are just, I mean, they, they've got a motor. Yeah. And you have to, you have to teach them how to slow down. I mean, they want to go there. Sometimes I think they got a whole lot of thoroughbred in them. What, these are some tough classes. Oh, yeah, some I'm tough classes. A, I'm seeing a lot of real good flat shot horses out there. It just puts more pressure on the judges. Oh, yeah. You know, you sit back and you watch them guys, the people, um, train these horses and flat shot trainers and I tell you you can learn a lot from them just sitting there and just watching because all their horses in the warm-up area when you get up on them they stand still you don't have to have a hold nobody to hold them to get up on that's it everything is just calm and well I can tell everybody if you're watching and you don't own a Tennessee walking horse, you sure don't own the Cadillac of horses. Cause this one right here, it's your Porsche, your Cadillac, your Mustang, your Corvette, all rolled into one. It is luxury. All of them picking up their feet too, no draggers. That's the girl. Don't make a liar out of that. <laughs> right there she is. Skip the line in Kimberly Walden, owner amateur two and three year old all day pleasure. That is one nice horse. That is a nice horse. That's a good walk right there, buddy. She just is smooth in that seat. Doing everything right. That's what makes you know, watching them so much fun is you, and interesting is you, you can sit out there and see the best of the best. And I seen something last night was just plumb good. Yeah. I mean good. 
your park performance padded. I mean, the whole the whole nine yards. I think we're going to have to take another break. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Sadie Fella Parsons is ready to shine when she presents Dim Lights. Lights in the Novice Division, then turns the reins over to Kayla Balkum to compete in the Young Trainers class. Remember to stand in support and cheer on Dim, Dim Lights. Lights during the 85th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Dim, Dim Lights! I can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will, but you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. National celebration, the reigning four-year-old world grand champion, Mr. True Blue, and trainer R.M. Kellett had their eyes set on top honors in the Walking Horse Industry 2023 World Grand Championship. The Jacobs family asks for and appreciates your support as this team walks for top honors. More of What a Horse, coming up. All right. Well, we got a couple more classes to go, and these, these were some good ones. Oh, yes. Now, I'm going to tell you, the, the winner of this elite owner amateur gentleman, Marion Gildan, Uptight Jose. Yeah. Bruce, Robin, no matter which one, this horse is just outstanding and there was some good four-year-olds uh in a plain words we got off to a good celebration yeah yeah I mean, we really, really have there, there were some good horses in just about every class i can't some of them that i really liked that didn't win but if i'd have been the judge they would have because i thought they looked great and they because it just everybody has their preference there was one lady that sat next to me with a young girl and she was screaming bloody murder for the horse and I asked her I seen the horse come by and I didn't know whether that was the one I said do you know who that what that horse is and she said yeah that's my horse well the way she was yelling you couldn't tell whose horse she was you know which horse yeah. she was for but I said well I'm gonna tell you I think you're winning and that's one one class that we both agreed yeah. on, the, on the same <laughs> horse because he was flat good and, and flat walking. He was walking. Good good front to back, reaching, getting down. He was taking care of business. But here is 
elite owner amateur gentleman Mary Ann Gilding. Uptide Jose and Bruce McDonald took the blue. Unreal Dr. Jim Baum was reserved. Mr. For Real Paul Simmons. A home run by Ted, Greg Kaiser, Siesta LaVie, Bart McWaters, Miss Stone Cash, Noah Botch, Honor and Obey, Howard Eastridge, Tornado Alley, Kerry DeArmond, Hammer on Parole, my buddy from California, Jim Heidi, and Jose's Thunderstruck, Baron Witherspoon finished out the 10 ribbons. When I see this, I always think of something that Russ Thompson said. When he goes home, they ask him how he did. He never tells them which ribbon he won, mm -hmm. unless it's first. He said, we're in the top 10 in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's the way to look at it. Yeah. I'm in the top 10. I may have been 10th, yeah. but I was in the top, top 10, 10 in the world. That's right. So Baron, you got bragging rights, buddy. <laughs> Baron done a, had a good ride. He, he did. He done a good job. Paul, Paul did. Good job. Paul did great. All the horses out there, I'm gonna tell you, that's a tough class. Yeah, it is. Well, you got Unreal out there. Uptight Jose, Mr. Far Real. Now he's a good horseman. Thunderstruck's a good horse, yeah. Siesta LaVie. And Miss Stone Cash, Noah's won a bunch with him. Yeah. How is that? Howard East Rich mm -hmm. on Honor and Obey. I mean, let's put it to you like this. Right there's Kerry. Yeah. Now he made a good, I mean, it's just from front to back, when you're in a class like that, you just don't know what's going to happen. I tell you, you made a good show if you can just come down that chute down there. That's right. Get in that ring. You, 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 you get in that ring and put on a show. Yeah. You looking good. Howard looking good there. There went Jim Heidi. Old Hammer, he, he ought to be in that uh, legend class or something. Yeah. Like that. I forget how old that horse is. I think he's 15, 16 years old, I believe. I may be wrong. I need to ask Jim that. Right there he is, Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald for Bruce and Robin McDonald, your elite owner, amateur gentleman, mayor, and gilding winner. He'd been in the winner circle a long time. Just steady walking. Yeah, nice horse. Old Bruce goes through there just like matter of fact. Here I am. Now this, owner amateur, four-year-old stallions, I'm telling you, it was packed. And I mean packed. Loaded with good ones. There's Debbie on the rail. I thought she made a good show. A shade of Jose and Buck Buchanan took the blue. Primo, Justin Harney was reserved. Born a Maverick, Bob Adcock. I'm Senor Copperfield, Kenny Compton. Voyager, Paul Simmons. Honors Roll Call, Janie Chapman. Asking for a friend, Ginger Williams. I'm Mo Cash. Caitlin Rippey, a great honor, Chavney Beasley, and Black Lion, Ryan Pickington, finished out the ribbon. But when that horse right there is third, you know you're loaded. Yeah. Cause that born a Maverick is one oh, great nice horse, horse, buddy. Nice horse. They got a bunch of good ones in that right Hey, it's full of them. That's what I'm talking about. That class was really something, really something. And there were some great ones that left the ring with no ribbon. Yeah.
Right there is Debbie Eichlin. I mean, she looked great. And didn't get a ribbon. That tell you how tough the class was. Yeah. I can't believe she didn't get a ribbon. You got some good horses in that class now. I tell you. I do. Right there, bro. Jack, Jack looking good. Jack looking real good. Didn't get a ribbon. They needed to divide that class and have another. Some of them horses oh, yeah. that left there without a ribbon, you know you got a good celebration going on. But when you have that many horses in a class, that's right. You're gonna have some of them leave disappointed. Mm -hmm. There ain't no doubt about it. And several of them left disappointed. I would be too if I put on a show like that. But that was a big class. Now that's just. A well, ladies and gentlemen, we got uh, classes starting this morning at 9 o'clock in Shelbyville. It'd be live streamed. You can go to report, and there's a link that you can tag and, and go and purchase the live stream. Uh, Jerry and I will be back here. Oh, You'll yeah. be here, won't you? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, I promise. You ain't going to let me down. No, I ain't going to let you down. No, I don't no. want to be on here by myself. No. <laughs> I, no. I need you here. <laughs> but we'll be back with you in the morning at 7 o'clock, <clears throat> both here on 193, Facebook, YouTube, and the What Horse TV video group Facebook page, too. Let's go to showgrounds. Good luck to everybody. Good luck tonight. We're on our way to the showgrounds now. Yep. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.